When I was taking real estate classes, the instructor told us that working with investors is one of the best things to do because you will get repeat and referral business all the time if you do a great job in the beginning. So here's what I've learned from working with investors for over five years. Number one, it's not scary to work with an investor. I genuinely thought that investors were only a certain type of person, like older, a man. But investors are legitimately anybody who's buying an investment property, somebody who is investing their money into real estate in this case. But the shift that I've seen from young, older investors to younger over the last five years is crazy. And it's really cool to see it uh, coming from like a younger generation that they're so interested in investing, which is a great opportunity for you as an agent to educate yourself on how to run numbers, how to run ROI, how to get the net income of a property, profit and loss statement, because these are the tools that you're gonna use to put the deals together. A lot of investors want off-market properties, exclusive properties that you can't just find on the MLS. That's why so many agents refer their business to us because they don't know how to work with those kind of clients. They don't specialize in that. But it's all about gaining the knowledge, getting out in the field and asking questions, asking other industry professionals about what you want to know in the industry, and you will learn so much just from talking to people. Investors also collaborate a lot, so getting people in the same room is a lot of times the job that you are made to do when you're connecting developers, contractors, permit expediters, all of these people, handymen, everything. A lot of times you are asked to refer. I also learned that not every investment fits every person. So let's say I'm talking about a deal where you're just putting finances forward and you're not doing any of the sweat equity. That might make sense for a business owner who is very busy and doesn't have time to do it, but you can make the same or more of a return by doing the work yourself if you and your husband or you and your partner or your friend or anybody, somebody that you trust, are able to do the work to a property and then sell it at an advanced rate or a higher price. You can also add equity onto your property by maintaining it really well with great property management and by keeping really good track of the income on that property. A seller who does not keep track of the income on their property versus somebody who does can sell their property for so much less than the person who actually took the time to write down everything they're making, write down their true expenses every month, and keep track of the accounting because your real estate investment is essentially a business that you can then sell if you are able to show proof of income. If you love these real estate tips and you have some questions for me, go to my Instagram, it's the same username, and I'm gonna make a story to ask me anything, and I will be answering it on my next episode of The Evolution of Confidence, and I actually will be having special guests coming in the next few months, so follow along. You'll recognize a lot of the guests from TikTok.